Turning the page now to Lindsay Boach. She, she has a little rough job this morning. <laughs> Not too rough, though. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning. Rough. A rough job. Um, Daisy decided that she uh, is being camera shy. She will not show her face, um, but she is wearing a dog life jacket. And I don't know if you remember, um, it, it was probably about two or three weeks ago we brought you the story in Chicago where there was a, a family that was boating on the Chicago River and the dog fell off and was wearing one of these life jackets. Well, um, it actually saved the dog's life. So they're very important if you plan on taking your pet with you on the boat. Um, this one is a little bit big for her, uh, but you should get one that fits the dog a little bit better. Uh, Casey Decker is with me now and explain a little bit about some summer safety tips if you're planning to, to bring your pets with you. Um, well with this life jacket it's definitely it could be a lifesaver because if a dog does jump in a lake they can become very exhausted quickly mm -hmm. and just like anybody else they can drown mm -hmm. so that is a big lifesaver. Um, always bring our water dishes with you. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have fresh water. Um, it can get very hot very quick mm -hmm. and then they won't drink it. So you got to keep them hydrated. And also we have some um, waste pickup bags here and that's good for um, if you're at a rest stop or something like that to, to pick up after your pet. Definitely, yes. It's uh, respectable mm -hmm. and um, it's sanitary. So they're really clean. Um, we also have the dispensers that you use. These are just refill bags, but um, just it's very respectable to do and mm -hmm. um, it's the right thing to do. Now talking about um, summer heat, um, getting keeping your pets hydrated, a, a lot of people, I still see it and I don't know how many times we have to say it, don't leave your pets in the car. No, don't. That's, uh, it's almost like leaving a child in the car. Mm -hmm. It's um, frowned upon around here and um, it shouldn't be tolerated. Uh, if you do have to do something like that, it's always nice to like bring an extra key and leave your car running mm -hmm. so you can still lock it, but leave your car running and keep the air conditioner on. All right. Sounds good. And we will talk to you a little bit later on in the show. Also, I was reading, even if you're traveling with an RV and you have a, a pet in the RV, don't leave that running uh, with all of the windows closed and everything like that because the generator could break down. Just keep an eye on your pet. Remember that they are a part of your family as well and they need to be uh, taken care of when you go on vacation also. All right, some great advice, Lindsay, and going to be a hot one today, mm -hmm. so nothing yes. should be left in your car. No, <laughs> Might just melt. Vacation <laughs> plans to maybe Atlanta or anywhere else in the continental U.S., and you want to drive and take along your dog, take along some advice from Lindsay Boach first. <laughs> yep, she's live this morning talking about summer vacations with your pet. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, guys. Yes, you may want to have your pet with you in the front seat, but uh, it's definitely not the safest place. But we have some other options for you. This, um, I want to talk about this first. Uh, we found this, and <laughs> I just think it's so funny. Uh, explain a little bit about what this is. Uh, this is a, a booster seat for a dog. It just plugs into the seat, and it has a safety leash right here, so you don't have to worry about the dog jumping out while you're driving mm -hmm. and causing chaos. So. It's a really neat item. And they're for small dogs or large dogs. Also, we found this, um, it's a zip line, and uh, this goes on the pet, and explain what this would be for. Uh, you could push it, like plug it into the um, back seat, and it'll allow the dog to walk back and forth while you're driving. And I'm gonna give you this, well, yeah, can you just hold this for a second right there? Thank you. What you do, you take this and you string it across, and then this kind of goes on it and the dog can go back and forth in the back seat which is a great option um, definitely not as safe as uh, having a cage or a crate with you as well though yeah these are a very good idea to keep with you it keeps the dog contained and um, it'll uh you don't have to worry about them jumping on your lap while you're driving or you know put jumping out of the window even that would that would be That's bad. Really bad. <laughs> this, I was reading the safest place for a pet is actually in the back seat. And that's not just for uh, the pet safety, but for other drivers on the road as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, usually, like, they're less of a distraction in the back seat. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a good idea to keep the dog in the back seat. I know a lot of people like to have them right beside you, but you got to think about the safety of other people mm -hmm. and yourself. 
All right, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, heat coming up. It's going to be very, very hot out there. And I was also reading that um, you shouldn't fly your pets in the summer. A lot of airlines actually won't allow it because it gets so hot in there. Um, but some airlines do let you fly your pets um, in the cooler months. So that's pretty neat. I, I've seen pets at the airport before, but um, if you're taking a trip and you want to bring your pet, make sure you check with your airline first. Well, here's a thought with securing your dog in the back seat that you might mm -hmm. not think of. In the unfortunate event that you have an accident, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that pet, no matter how much it weighs, is now unsecured and flying and could yes. hit you right. or right. your passenger. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important to have it there. there Thank you. A little so. relief it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if you're re ready to get out on the highway and born to be wild, where'd your dog go? I was going to say the dog could be wild. You're not. Yeah, Lindsay's she's right here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I guess we she's should She's on say the table. She's here. Okay. She's, uh, <laughs> she's not moving. She's a little scared, I think. Um, <laughs> this life jacket is actually working pretty well. She doesn't want to go anywhere. It's a little big on her, but life jackets are good for your pets. You, you might be traveling. You might be going out on the lake. You might want to bring your pet with you but uh, make sure that you have a life jacket with you. Uh, Casey Decker joins me now. Why is it so important to have these on your pets as well as humans? Um, because if the dog was to jump in the water, it could become exhausted very easily. So they can drown, they can drown just as easy as a human. So it's very advisable to put the life jacket on your dog. And now when you're traveling, it's important to bring um, food and water bowls with you as well. Yes, definitely. Um, keep fresh water in there because if it gets to a high temperature, the dog won't drink it and they need to stay hydrated. And we were talking a little bit earlier uh, about these um, pet disposal bags um, for your pet's waste. And um, they're, you, were, you used the word respectable. Why yeah. is that? Because um, say you were walking out in your yard and you don't have a dog, one of the last things you want to see <laughs> is that in your yard. So it's definitely respectable. Especially if you don't have a pet of your own. And w when you're traveling with your pet in the car, um, there are some options that you have uh, to keep them safe in the car as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, we have quite a few different items here that um, are safety for riding in the car. Um, the crate is probably the first thing that you should look at. Um, it keeps them contained in the car and you don't have to worry about them getting rowdy. Um, we also have this basket. It actually connects them in the basket so they can't jump out and it has a liner on it so all the hair and all that stuff won't get in your car and it just pulls out and you can wash it really easily. Now speaking of summer, heat is a huge thing. Uh, we're seeing it this week. Um, it's important to keep your pet hydrated um, but also keep them cool and one way you can do that is through grooming. Oh, definitely, yes. Um, we do that at Pampered Pets, and we do all different sizes of dogs, no dogs too big or too small. Um, and we enjoy the dogs coming in. Uh, no numbers too high. We can always get the job done. And I know especially with her, she sheds a lot, um, especially in the winter, or I'm sorry, summer. In the summer, she has her uh, winter coat that she needs to get rid of. Any other tips that you have um, when people are traveling? Um, bring a brush and make sure that you are getting all the shedding off them. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many different kinds of brushes to use mm -hmm. and it makes them feel clean and mm -hmm. it's a lot cooler for them as well. All right. Thank you very much, Casey. And I will have one more tip for you. I'm saving one last tip for the end of the show, guys. My tip, don't get uh, the waste bags confused with your package of Skittles that you travel with. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that could be Ew. disgusting. Jack. Where did All right, where do you disgusting. come up with these things? Uh, it's, you don't want to be in here. I, I know I don't. <laughs> That's why I'm glad I'm out here. Place. I'm too close to in there every morning. It's too much. Know your audience, Chad. Uh. I forgot I work with all these females. Uh. <laughs>